If you feel like you are being followed by someone or if you are stuck in the middle of nowhere and you need immediate help, simply take out this wireless keychain, press the button A to activate the timer and the Arduino will start sending you a current GPS location in a text message along with the Google's Map URL link after every two minutes. The time duration can be changed as per your requirement. You can activate the normal mode by simply pressing the button B and the Arduino will stop sending the messages. Besides this, I also added the anti-theft feature which I will discuss in a few seconds. But first a few words about the sponsor of this video. The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBWay company. PCBWay is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices, only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. I also added the anti-theft feature which can be activated by pressing the button C. For the demonstration purposes, I am using this push button which of course you can replace with any other sensor which can be fixed in a motorcycle or car for detecting any activity. Anyhow, when this push button is pressed, a timer is activated and the Arduino will start sending the messages which consist of the longitude and latitude values along with the Google's Map URL link. You can simply deactivate the anti-theft mode by pressing button D on the keychain now if the button is pressed, the Arduino won't send any messages. So if you feel any danger or if you are stuck somewhere, then you can activate the automatic message sending mode. The rest Arduino will take care. It will keep sending the messages to your family member or a friend depending on the cell phone number. You can modify the program to send a single message on multiple numbers. I have already explained this in my previous tutorial based on how to send security alert messages to multiple numbers. The anti-theft mode should be activated after you have parked your bike or car. I already demonstrated this and now you have the idea how it works. My recommendation is use a vibration sensor instead of using the push button. The heart of this project is the Arduino Nano to which the YK04 receiver Neo 6M GPS and GSM 900M modules are connected. In this project we will cover number one components details, number two complete circuit diagram, number three soldering, number four programming and finally number five testing. Without any further delay let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the YK04 280 to 433 MHz 4 channel receiver module with a 4 channel transmitter provided with the buttons. 4 data outputs D0 to D3 are for 4 button remote control. The data pin will output high level when the corresponding button is pressed. The working voltage of this module is 5 volts. This is the Neo 6M GPS module used in the SMS GPS security tracking system. This GPS module is provided with 4 mail headers VCC, RX, TX and ground. If you have never used the Neo 6M GPS module then watch my getting started tutorial. I will provide a link in the description. 
This is the GSM 900A module which will be used for sending the GPS coordinates along with the Google's MAP URL link. The first thing that you will notice about this GSM module is that it has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltages. Because voltages greater than 5 volts can easily damage this module. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volt, but you can easily power up this GSM 7900A module using a 5 volt adopter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter, then you can make your own power supply using LM3170 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM3170 explaining everything. There are a few things that I really like about the GSM 7900A module which are number one. This is the cheapest GSM module available on the market. Number two. Another cool thing is it can be easily interfaced with 5 volt supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano etc. and also with 3.3 volt controller boards like Node MCU, ESP8266 5M module and ESP32 etc. This is where we connect the external 5 volt regulated power supply. It has a total of 9 male headers. These 3 male headers are not connected. Pin number 1 is the VCC which can be connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. In my case is I will power up this module using the external power supply so I will leave this pin unconnected. Pin number 2 is the ground which will be connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 3 is the 5 volt TXT. Pin number 4 is the 5 volt RXT. Pin number 5 is the 3.3 volt TXT and pin number 6 is the 3.3 volt RXD. As Arduino is based on the 5 volt controller board so we will be using the 5 volt TXD and 5 volt RXD pins of the GSM 7900A module. The circuit diagram of the SMS GPS security tracking system is very simple. All the electronics are powered up using the 5 volts power supply you can use a 5 volt LiPo battery pack or you can use the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. The 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator accepts a wide range of input voltages from 7 to 25 volts. The 5 volt and ground pins of the YK04 receiver module are connected with the 5 volt and ground pins of the power supply. The D0 pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12, D1 is connected with pin 11, D2 is connected with pin 10 and D3 pin of the YK04 receiver module is connected with the Arduino's pin number 9. The RXD and TXD pins of the GSM 7900A module are connected with the Arduino's pins 8 and 7. The RXD and TXD pins of the new 6M GPS module are connected with the Arduino's pins 3 and 2 respectively, while the power supply pins of the GSM 7900A and Neo 6M GPS module are connected with the 5 volt and ground. A 10K resistor is connected in series with a push button. This is a pull up resistor. When the button is not pressed, it gives 5 volt to the Arduino's pin 4, and when the button is pressed, it gives ground as the signal to the Arduino's. Pin number 4. I designed the PCB board using the Gatesoft Eagle schematic in PCB designing software. I double checked all the connections and finally generated the Gerber files. I checked the Gerber files using the PCBWay online Gerber Weaver. I checked all the layers carefully and finally placed the order on the PCBWay official website. These are the PCBs I received from the PCBWay company as you can see. The quality is really great, the silk screen is quite clear and the solder mask looks amazing.
This is how the PCB board looks after soldering. Finally, I connected the GSM module and GPS module is for the circuit diagram already explained. Our SMS GPS security tracking system is ready. Now let's take a look at the Arduino programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. I defined pins for the GPS module and selected 9600 is the baud rate. Next I defined pins for the GSM module and for the push button. I also defined a variable text for SMS which is used for storing the string message. I defined pins for the YK04 receiver module which are used to select between the two modes. Finally I defined variables for storing the longitude, latitude, seconds and minutes. Inside the white setup function, I activated the serial communication and set all the pins as the input. Send underscore GPS underscore location is a user defined function which is executed after every one second. I will talk about this in detail in a minute. Send SMS function is a user defined function. It has no return type and takes only one argument as the input which is of the type string. The purpose of this function is to send a message to a specific cell phone number. The actual code is placed inside the while loop function. These two conditions are used to check whether A or B button is pressed on the transmitter side and then accordingly change the flag value. If button A is pressed, the flag value is set to 1 and if button B is pressed, then the flag value is set to 0 and also reset the seconds and minutes. This condition checks if the flag value is 1, which means if the button A is pressed on the transmitter, we activate the timer using the timer.run function, next call the display info function. This condition is used to check if the M flag is set to 1. By default, this flag is set to 0. When the timer is activated, the Arduino starts counting the seconds and minutes. When the minutes are equal to the predefined value, this flag is set to 1. So if the M flag equals equals 1, then read the latitude and longitude values, convert these value into string. We make a complete message consisting of the Google's map URL link and then finally send the message. Wait for 3 seconds and then make the M flag equals to 0. So this message will be sent after every two minutes until you press the button B on the transmitter which activates the normal mode. The same technique is also used for the anti-theft mode but this time a message is sent only if the flag value is set to 1 and also if the push button is pressed. Display info function is used to read the GPS location. Send underscore GPS underscore location function is a user defined function. This function is controlled using a timer. This function is used to count the seconds and minutes. Currently the value is set to 2. This means a message will be sent after every 2 minutes. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. I started off by powering up the device using the Lebo battery. Waited for a few seconds. My JSM module successfully connected with the network. As you can see, the LD is blinking at a slow rate. I performed all the initial tests. I was able to remotely trigger the controller and was able to successfully receive the messages consisting of the Google's MAP URL link with the latitude and longitude values. You simply click on the Google's MAP URL link the exact location is displayed with almost 4 feet to 1 meter accuracy. I kept checking this module and it worked perfectly without any errors.
support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.